I came across some wreckage when I was scouting earlier. Dismissed it as another anomaly until Ghost described Ikora's ship. No one was inside. So she's alive. We just have to find her. Yeah, and that's always easier said than done. I'm sending you some coordinates. You're on the lookout for something that resembles the cradle on Io. We'll start there. We're not the only ones looking for Icorn. The hive already bothered? We can handle them. Well, go right ahead. I'll be here for moral support. Concentrated darkness. The least we can do is put it to good use. That shield creates concentrated light. You can use it to power those wells. Where light rises. Darkness recedes. Sounds like you've been reading Ikora's field journals. I always try to learn from the best. More hive ahead. Eyes up. Zebu Arath's followers again. Of course they'd answer the witness's call. Well, I'm glad somebody's been paying attention. And me, I see three glowing green eyes. I open fire. And then apologize to Eris later. Why can't I jump? Oh no.
How why is I going to save us?
both light and dark energy is what brought down that barrier. Mara often spoke of the balance of light and dark. We awoken were made in conflict. Our connection to darkness is as ingrained as our connection to light. Not all guardians are awoken, but it does feel like we all share that conflict. Oh, this one makes me amplified. Wait, does it? No, it don't. This is definitely Ikora's ship. Let's take a closer look. Commander, Guardian, I hope you are both safe and that you found Crow. I haven't been able to raise you on calm, so I cannot be certain. You know I am not one to be moved without evidence. How did you put it, Zavala? Scientific obstinance. But there is an uncanny sanctity to this place. I feel an impulse. I seek to commune with the Traveler myself. I sense if I reach out, that it will reach back. If not here, where? Find me. I'll be at the cradle. It's just how I remember it. Stay sharp. I'm picking up a reading very similar to something Crow and I ran into shortly after we arrived. What, another charming gunslinger with roguish good looks? A high vulgar. But it definitely has your humility. Oh, that's perfect. I love when the Nogamon goes in the wrong direction. Never mind. Crow, how did you manage to avoid it earlier? Avoid it? <laughs> Glint, how many times did you revive me? Five? Six? Twelve? But who's counting? Not bad. Can't be efficient, be persistent. Out to disconnect again. An arc melee that makes you radiant. Dark thing.
down. And look, light. It's creating a path forward. Guardian, I'm sensing a surge in power in both light and dark. Ikora's strong. I'm sure she's fine. Hey, when we find Ikora, if she's... Oh, that's good. Great. Um, but not really what I'm worried about. I was gonna ask if you think she's still mad at me. For what? I made a promise, then I broke it. I died. Oh no, I'm switching melee. Dark one's a bit shit. Get ready, Guardian. The Witness's forces are heading your way. We found Ikora. She's deep in meditation. If Ikora zend out, she might actually get some answers from the traveler. Thank you, Guardian. I thought that maybe here. Maybe the Traveler might give me some sort of guidance, as it once did for the Speaker. I close my eyes and I open my heart and mind. I think I heard it... screaming. So did we, when we came through the portal. This place... We know. The Witness infecting the Traveler. Darkness combined with light. I wish Osiris could see it. He was always ready with the hypothesis. But here's mine. The witness brought darkness into the Traveler. 
everything you see here inside it is a physical manifestation of a thought made real by the light. Your thoughts, mine, the witnesses. It plans to weaponize that light, reshaping reality outside the Traveler into a perfect stillness. A great silence, never changing, never dying. Imagine your greatest triumph, or your most profound regret, immortalized as a part of a universe where nothing exists except by the witness's consent. It chooses what your eternity will be, and imprisons you safely inside it. This is its promised salvation. This is the final shape. The Witness sees itself as the god it wishes the Traveler was. And although the Traveler resists the Witness's corruption, it and everything we know will eventually succumb. I always warn Zavala not to put all his faith in the Traveler, to save some for the rest of us. But maybe faith in the Traveler is exactly what we need. If light is powerful enough to destroy the universe, then light is powerful enough to destroy the Witness. Come back safe. That's not good. Anyone else with you? Not Commander Zavala, I assume. This isn't quite up to his standards. Hey. I did my best, all right? Given the circumstances, I think Big Blue will forgive me. Will you? No. It's too much. It's just... Too much. It's one thing for the witness to look in our hearts and minds, to conjure up our memories, but this. Hey, Cora, come on, look at me. I see you. I know this is hard. It's tough for me, too. Tough? What do you know about tough? You are always running off to play renegade, leaving me and Zavala to shoulder all the responsibility when when we were supposed to be a team. I know. I'm gonna make it up to you. All right. I know you like me. Don't get ahead of yourself. You still have a lot to make up. Well then, we better get started.
Cora has always had a strong connection to the Traveler. I think that's why she's so confident. Why she's never needed the faith Zavala has. She hasn't sought guidance like this for a long time. But this place makes you reassess what faith means to you. Ikora said our memories reshape the landscape. Like the Ascendant Plain. But here it's pure. It's not a recreation, it's a reimagining. That's why the Witness is here. It wants to weaponize the Traveler and transform the universe into a fixed state based on what it believes we deserve. The Witness thinks purpose is a static idea. Its promised salvation is a perfect ending it chooses for us. That sounds more like obsession to me. You can't bottle life. You can't pin its subtleties in place. It's wild. And variable. Imperfect. Like the light, it shines out in all directions, shadows and all. Commander Zavala would agree. Come on, Guardian. We've got a fire team to reunite. Scans are conclusive. Your body is a construct of light. Even if you aren't able to wield it as a weapon. Well, I guess I need my ghost to do that. Yes, but still. This is nothing short of a miracle. A miracle that could only be made possible here. In this impossible place. You sound like Zavala. Next you'll be saying that the Traveler brought me back for a reason. It did. My Cora. Give me a better explanation then. I don't have one. All I got is my hand cannon. No golden gun. No ghost. Can I ask you something deeply personal? Sure. What did you see when you died your final death? No, well, that ain't fair. No, it isn't. Light. So bright it burned me all the way up, but I didn't feel any heat. Not a lick. I didn't feel anything, actually. Not with my body, because I left that back there. These anatonauts might call it being one with the Traveler, but I call it home. No pain. No fear. No Vanguard paperwork. That's him. And Sundance? Uh, she was shining there, too. You want to know a secret? I miss it. Even more than I miss you. 